So here I have the cylinder spacer, which I've done calculations with the gasket thickness since we'll be using two stock gaskets, which are 11 thousandths a piece. Plus, there's a 3 millimeter difference between the can uh, am rod and the MX rod, exactly 3 millimeters, so I calculated it out. 3 millimeters is 118 thousandths in uh, standard. So we got to get the sum of two gaskets in the spacer to be 118. So I calculated it down to if you have two gaskets at 22 thousandths, and then you have the spacer, that'll be, I think it was 96 thousandths. So if you do the math, it'll come around about 118, if I'm not mistaken. So I took, made the spacer all out of hand with a coping saw, file, Dremel uh, sanding rolls, and uh, drill bits. Um, I took, took out this uh, 1 8 inch uh, aluminum sheet. Um, four inches wide. As you can see it was pretty rough cut, but it's looking finer. Um, I've been taking it down thickness wise with a belt sander to take uh, 20 thousandths off, you know, quite a bit at a time. And uh, eventually I got this piece of float glass and then 250 grit sandpaper, wet dry sandpaper, and that will be used to flat it down and then get the uniform thickness. But, anyways, I'll show you how it goes on to. Uh, cylinder. Here's the MX250 cylinder. MX250 cases. You, know, you can see the golden Can-Am rod in there. Um, like I said, the Can-Am rod's three millimeters longer than the MX250 rod. So, um, I'll have it. This is something different that I noticed. It's versus the SX, SX, SS cylinders versus the MX250 cylinders. This little indexing shoulder. I don't know if it has to do with tolerances or how it fits into the case. Uh, the ridges in the case here, but it's something I different, so I use that to my advantage, and it perfectly indexed in there, and there's barely no playing. You gotta remember, right? This is all hand formed. I don't have any machine tools. I just have files and sanding rolls. So um, let's see. Flip this around. I'll show you the transfer ports, and I found out just by using the using the spacer as a reference point is that. Uh, from the factory, at least with this uh, cylinder and case combo, the transfer ports aren't matched up totally perfectly. So I guess that is one thing you could play around with to make it better and improve the design. But uh, as you can see here, it's probably about 30 thousandths or so um, uh, oversized the actual hole in the spacer. I don't think it'll have, you know, have much of an effect in real world power or whatnot, but... Uh, it's a pretty close fit, so you can see how it's uniform on both sides. And bolt holes match up perfectly, so I'll take this off and I'll show you it on the case. Um, so yeah, you can see that it's a little bit, a little bit oversized, but I don't think it'll harm anything. But it's it's perfectly matched up, like on the fore and aft sections hole there. But yeah, it's I still got a, quite a few machines you know, to take this down thickness. I think this is at about 105 right now and I need to get down to 96. So um, it'll take quite a bit of machining for right now to get that down. I've been using my star at my chronometer to make sure it's close. Uh, I don't need to be in ten thousandths but being you know within one you know two probably two to three thousandths through the entire thing would probably be optimum because the gaskets are gonna squish to that but the overall thickness needs to be pretty pretty exact so I think the combination of the float glass and the sandpaper will be able to get down to it. So uh, whoever the one fellow that was that wanted me to make a second spacer my advice is I'd probably just make your own um uh, your own uh, aluminum sheet metal because I had a custom fit this for our cylinder. I don't know if I could duplicate it twice without you having to do quite a considerable amount of filing down. Um, but uh, I don't know, I, I've hoped in the adventure possibly getting a whole bunch of laser cut, but I don't know how profitable it would be or how many things on a minimum run or whatnot, but uh, I guess it's a consideration for future builds. But So I'd show you the matching uh, the 3 millimeter spacer and Hopefully in a few weeks you can have it all buttoned up and running again. But so yeah, that's a Can-Am connecting rod mod for the Harley Davidson MX250 engine on the completion of the shim. 
Uh, so there, there you go. 